one day that Elijah went to Shunem where there was a notable, this means great, woman and she persuaded him to eat some food. So it was as often as he passed by, he would turn in there to eat some food. And she said to her husband, look now, I know that this is a holy man of God. We're gonna stop there for a second. I know this is a holy man of God. She recognized the call in his life. And we know Second Chronicles 20, 20, believe the, in his prophets and you shall prosper. So she's honoring the man of God. She's getting ready to honor him. So she says to her husband, I know this is a holy man of God who passes by us regularly. Please let us make a small upper room on the wall and let us put a bed for him there and a table and a chair and a lampstand. So it will be, that's prophetic, a lampstand too. Whenever he comes to us, he can turn in there. She's preparing for the prophet. Now this is a notable great woman. Amen. She's wealthy and prominent. She's asking to use her wealth, not for herself, but to bless the man of God. Amen. That's powerful. So Shunem was in the land of Issachar, and this is in northern Israel. We're going to see what happens to the Shunammite woman after she decides to use her wealth to bless the man of God. God is going to bless her too through this prophet Elisha. Elisha asks what he can do for this woman. And he talks with Gehazi and after talking with the woman. And Gehazi says, you know, she does not have any children. She doesn't have a son and her husband is old. Elijah prophesies that she will have a son about this time next year. And she has a son just as the prophet Elijah has said. This is powerful. Now, it was so important because as prophets, we want to prophesy the word of God. So he's asking, you know, what does she, what she, can I do for her? But he's consulting the Lord. I mean, in, in this, before he's prophesying, he's not just saying, oh, whatever I say is going to happen. It's in agreement with the Holy Spirit, what the God is going to, you know, provide. Amen. It's important because we can only speak what God is speaking. We cannot just create whatever we want to see happen. It's God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So God is a man preeminent. Jesus is preeminent. So we want to follow what God is saying and not just as prophet, what we would like to see happen. It has to be under the unction and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We're not God. God is God. We are subject to God. God is not subject to man. We are subject to God. Amen. So it's important to realize that as prophetic people, we need to, we can ask what someone wants so that we can go to the Lord and ask, Lord, is this what you want to do? And then speak forth. And I believe Elijah did that because God honored his word, not because Elijah just spoke it, but because Elijah had that relationship with God to say, yes, this is what I will do for this woman. 